convention. Carl, how's it going today? Good, how are you? I'm so good. What are you doing? Um, we are doing some crazy shit today. convention going for you? This convention has always been rad. It's my second year here uh, for a small city in the middle of uh, almost nowhere. It's got a really good turnout. I don't know if it's just because I'm in the middle and we're on the bottom row, but like yesterday my, my appointment didn't show up and I caught three people to walk in. So like, you know, sometimes you go to these big shows and it's like uh, nobody even approaches you to get tattooed. They're just walking around and look cool, you know? How's the convention going for you so far? Very nice. All good. Uh, the location is perfect. And the convention is small but very warm and uh, the people is great. All good. What kind of art projects are you working on so far and what kind of mediums are your favorite? Uh, right now I started uh, working on my second hardcover book uh, and uh, I'm traveling a lot, United States, Europe, so it's so many conventions and guest spots, but I found time and uh, working uh, on my new book because uh, right now I'm working uh, with uh, uh, the Wacom Cintiq, so I'm working digital so I can work anywhere, so yeah, the, the, that's the plan. Timothy Bohr. Timothy, you're a long way from uh, Indiana. Yes, I am. Now, are you um, sampling any of the local like nightlife, restaurants, cuisine? Tell me about that. Yeah, uh, by the time we get out of here, you know, you, you can like go to the pizza show joint or um, you can go to the pizza joint or, um, or, yeah, or some the people pizza end up at the pizza joint. I yeah. feel like I've heard about this place before. Yeah, yeah so I think tonight I'm probably going to go uh, have some seafood. <laughs> Do they have that at the pizza joint? I, I hope because that's the only place that they'll, they'll be open. Teresa Sharp. Teresa, um, looks like you've done a couple abdominal pieces. Uh, tell me what you're working on right now. Uh, I'm currently working on a phoenix tattoo. So we've covered his entire chest and the rib cage is actually kind of like a lantern. So there's like flames coming out of the rib cage. Uh, rather than doing the traditional phoenix, which is like a fire tail or right. something, we kind of changed it up a little. I like your take on it. That's awesome. Sure. You gonna do some nipple blasting? You just gonna go right over that? Yeah, as usual. I just cover those right up. You know. Awesome, awesome. No one needs them. Yeah, you don't. Need them. Especially not this guy. You don't need an interrupting nipple. No. That's it's the worst thing for a tattoo. You're it like, really oh, is. That's a sweet nipple. Like it's highlighted when you tattoo oh, yeah. around <laughs> it, and then it's just like. Nice little pepperoni, <laughs> you know, right there in the middle of your chest. Yeah. 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 No. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fucks it to ya. <laughs> Fuck the youth care. My, like, I'd say like 80% of my life consists of art. Awesome. Yeah, the other 20% consists of me smashing the old lady out. Yeah. Back, you know what I'm saying? It's all like that. Netflix and chill, man. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I gotta say. Wait, how does that one Netflix and chill? And then I see one, it was like uh, VHS and chill. What? Yeah, taking it old school like. on that shit. <laughs> 